Welcome back to more Shadows of Mordor. Hi guys. Can you shoot him? Yeah. <laughs> nope. Alright, attention! Starting this mission will take you through to the end of your journey, but once you finish, you'll be returned to where to continue where you left off. Okay, so basically this is like, hey, this is the final mission. You see a man come at you That's really the only warning here. Still get all the lore and shit like that later. Something just moved up. So let's get it. You have returned to Nurn to discover that the Black Hand has been here before you. Yup. I am not worthy of vengeance, Father. Why do you fight? And it turned out that the Black Hand was actually no, Deer Hall yes. all along. Much ring of bindness, much ring of ruling, much ring of dominion. Mad. That was Come, little caracol, let's go to battle! It's cute. What, what? Am I just going straight up the steps of Mount Doom? <laughs> What's going on? It's just, ah, uh, when I, when you say it, there's just a smile on your face. I come for you, Lord of Gifts. Oh, don't lose. 
Spikes of the Black Gate for what you did to him. Look at me. Bring light. Charge. That's why. Fire Mountain, bring doom! Doom to all men! Good job, guys. You're doing good work. Why kill Buru? Why? You dumb bitch. Testament to their awesome power. You're done. But my Karagor did die. He wasn't a captain, though. This will finish as it started, with shadow and flame falling on the Black Gate. The Hammer and the Tar are dead. Sauron is still weak. Without the power of the One Ring or the Ringmaker, he cannot take form. He will be trapped within Mordor, no more than an eye of flame bound to his dark tower. And at last I can die, and none will avenge me. Okay. Uh, you can, you can go. So we're not taking a fight to Mordor? I mean, the inside? We can bring it on the tower, it's fine. Like, we have demolitions. I think you've made Talion too strong now. <laughs> you've, you've literally made him OP. I don't see a reason not to go inside unless Sauron does mind magic at this last second to bring you to my knees.
Kaline slipped and fell and broke his neck. Oh yeah, that guy. Right. <laughs> Gift for you, Calibri. This happened before. Pretty vengeful. The Dark Lord gave you a second chance to stand by his side. Now I give you no choice. We shall be sealed together in death. So be it. Return to me. That's very cute. I don't I don't really see how I don't see how that's lore friendly, but uh, 
I'll go with it. So you killed all the badasses that Sauron had. Pretty much, pretty much. You killed Grogs. You tamed Karagors. You took every orc war chief in two, two whole areas under your command. And then. Then you then you just say no. Nah. I don't. If this isn't the loudest in my, in the whole world, thank you. Okay. Yeah, Mordor and flames. You have defeated the Black Hand of Sauron, driven and driven, driven Sauron back to the ruins of Barad-dûr. However, the Dark Lord Shadow remains. Hold back the rising tide of his army by continuing to hunt captains and war chiefs. Rescue the remaining outcasts trapped within Mordor. Discover any remaining secrets and collectibles and complete the legends of your weapons. Alright, so that's it. So This is our fortress! Stand up and fight your globes! That wasn't that long. It didn't feel like it didn't feel that long, you know? Yeah, yeah, I kind of... How, how long has this campaign been? I don't know, I'd say 20 hours? 20 hours? Ish? Meh, kind of ish. It's kind of just... It's just over a little too soon. I mean, I didn't really get the ending. Exactly how it's lore friendly. But I hear there's DLC coming out when you fight, when you actually go fight Sauron or something like that. I don't know. Because you had to buy the collector's edition thingy dingy. Pay attention. I'm gonna so I don't know. I'll chop but your arms off if that's you apparently a thing. Fine, fine. So I don't really know how lore friendly it is. So no to, to say simply. <laughs> then he's gonna make a new ring of power. Just to forge it, forge it up with the... How did Sauron even throw those away if he had them? It's the question. If he had the tools of a great elven smith. I don't really see it making sense for him to throw it away. I wouldn't. But that's just him. But hey. I mean, if you're a Dark Lord, you can do anything. I mean, sure, Morgoth made plenty of mistakes in his day. So, the Dark Lord is just bound to make mistakes. I think it's in the lore. But, yeah, that was that was Shadows of Mordor. I, I really, I, um, I liked it, you know. Wish it was longer. Um, I especially, I liked the Nemesis system, that was cool. That's really cool. So you can see what I've what I've done while you weren't looking uh, in my free time. I took over a little bit of Udun. I made a war chief my own. There's still Norik the Prickler. Uh, he's a nasty guy. He's a nasty piece of work. But um, this game certainly it uh it certainly tried something. It took, uh, you know, the combat system. Okay, took and took. But uh, it, uh, it, it really just looked at Arkham, Arkham City, Arkham Asylum, and you know, Assassin's Creed, and it took some of those systems, made them its own, optimized them in certain ways. And just, you know, it had, it was really, the, the combat was super flowy, and, you know, nah, who doesn't like that? Who doesn't like the flowy combat style of Arkham, of the Batman Arkham games? And, you know, this, the story, it felt a little... I don't know if it, it should just have been longer, so it could flesh itself out more, you know what I mean? Just so we could get more... I don't know, just 
maybe flush out some variables more or add some new ones to make you know and more it, to make it more exciting I wasn't really impressed by the ending I mean it was a cool ending it was, it was that oh yeah shit's gonna go down moment but I'm like meh I mean, it, it lends itself to there being a second game, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not the biggest Tolkien lore guy ever. I, I just, I have just cursory knowledge of the Tolkien verse. And, yeah, so... How lore friendly it is, I I don't really know. It doesn't seem, it, it it seems to, you know, take considerations to the lore, and you know, take its own spin on it, you know. But how friendly it is, I can't really, I can't really say. So, <laughs> if uh, if you if you read the Lord of the Rings wiki, and uh, you know a lot more than me. Which probably, which anyone who who has read the Lord of the Rings book, or Cimmerillion, or the Unfinished Tales, or Thingamajigs have, then uh, you know you probably know a lot more than me. You can correct me and say, uh, "Titan, you're talking out of your ass." So uh, it's actually it's uh, it's pretty friendly. It's uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And to that, I'll just say, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I'm babbling. I'm babbling again. We finished Lord of the Rings Shadows of Mordor. I don't think I've ever finished a game so fast as I've finished this one. It just felt like it went by pretty quick. I mean... Yeah, is that, is that just me? It just felt like it went by so fast. I mean, I got the whole, almost the whole skill tree just unlocked. Except a couple, you know, these. Meh. I never unlocked my legends. That's sad. But besides that, I, yeah, you know, you can see what I'm missing here. Hmm. I have completed 55.1% of the game. Ugh. So, but, yeah. You know, I had, I will just say, though, the game looks uh, pretty good. And I had a fun time playing the game. So those 34 gigabytes it took to install on my system and those two days... <laughs> two days of preload and then I couldn't even launch the game first. I, that was, that was a, some terrible majinkies. But then, it was worth it. It was worth it in the end. So now I guess, you know, uh, I think actually we can just uh, go to the quit. Are you sure you want to quit? Yes. I think uh, there's this Trials of War that you can also do. Kill orc captains and war chiefs in this open-ended challenge. Instead of earning XP, you will earn points towards your score. Compare your final score against other players on the leaderboards. Use your current abilities and ruins from story mode. Keep any additional ruins you collect. So that's that's a thing. A little fun thing yeah so okay we've played the game for 16 hours and 33 minutes but you also have to take into consideration that off screen I've played it for about I don't know four hours I don't know I played it for a while while processing videos so I can't really say what that, that's an awfully quick story mode for an RPG. For an action RPG, whatever you want to say. And I wish they had more story to offer. So that's my criticism. I wish it was longer. But then, you can also just go and say, but then, you know, it might have, you know, meh parts. If they just... If they did that. So, I don't know. 
but you can take that into consideration. Uh, take it with a grain of salt. You know, I can't. I, I'm not really good at just uh, giving my critiques. Just after I need time to digest a game, you know, I need time to digest it. But I, I think I, I definitely will. You know, just it's fun to mess around with the captains and war chief. The nemesis system is uh, a fun system. Definitely a good idea to have there on the on the board. But um, this is the end of the adventure of Talion. So thanks for watching, guys, and um, tune into you know whatever I play next. Hopefully, some some interesting and exciting games to come. So thanks for watching. See you next time.